Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Homemade and today we are making a pound cake and you all this pound cake is so simple. It is so very simple. I'm going to show you how we mix everything and you know typically we will use the sand mixer but I'm going to show you that it can be so simple. We're going to mix it right here on this table in this bowl and the results are going to be amazing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I do want to mention that some bunt pans are smaller than others. So just be mindful of what size bunt pan you have. Remember, the base of our cake will just be our basic one, two, three, four cake. And that's one cup of milk, two cups of sugar, two sticks of butter, three cups of flour, and four eggs. And we are going to add vanilla and almond extract into this recipe. We are going to put in a few more ingredients, which would mean our fourth cup of sour cream. We are going to put in four tablespoons of lemon juice, and we're also going to put in a half a cup of vegetable shortening. We're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is cream our imperial and our shortening together. We're gonna go ahead and start creaming that. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our two cups of sugar and we're gonna add it in slowly. We're not gonna dump it all in at one time. You can, but I don't. So we're gonna cream this for about three or four minutes. We really wanna get our sugar and our shortening cream together really well. So now we're going to go ahead and start adding in our eggs. And we are going to dump those in one at a time. And you're just going to mix it until the egg disappears. And I do want you to take note that all of our ingredients that will typically be cold, they are room temperature. We're going to put half of our flour in, half of our milk mix it a little bit and then come back and put the rest in and our milk has spilled a little bit but it's fine get that mixed in really well we want to add in our flavorings and our sour cream So that's one tablespoon of vanilla. And we're going to also add in our tablespoon of almond. Put our sour cream in. took us less than five minutes to put together a homemade pound cake. And you can see. So now we're going to just go ahead, pour it in our pan, and we're just going to go around in a circle. We have this. We're gonna put it in our oven. Our oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in our oven. We're gonna let it cook for 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, we're gonna come back and test it. If it's not done in those 50 minutes, we're only gonna cook it for five minute increments more. So the way that we test it, we'll just stick a toothpick or a straight edge instrument into it just to make sure that it comes out clean. If it does, we'll take it out sit it on our cooling towel, let it cool, and I'll come back and show you how to make the glaze. 
So we're back with our pound cake. It did cook in the oven for 55 minutes. We took it out, let it cool for about 10 minutes before we flipped it over onto our cake board. Once, it, once we flipped it over onto our cake board, we let it cool for another 45 minutes. So our cake is pretty cool to the touch. Now it is still warm. If you want your cake to cool down a little more, that is totally fine. I typically like to go ahead and put my drizzle on mine about that 45 minute to an hour mark because what will also happen is the it'll help lock in that moisture for the glaze. I use, in this bowl, I have one fourth cup of granulated sugar and one cup of powdered sugar. Now this glaze, it is what I call my sour cream glaze. In this bowl, I have two teaspoons of sour cream, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to mix that around. Sometimes I have found that I do need to add a little more lemon juice in it just to loosen it up a tad bit. And that's why I have my lemon juice out. But again, you don't want to put too much in. And all you're gonna do, you're just gonna take your spoon and you'll make, you'll start at the very top of your cake because you wanna make sure that that is covered. And you all, that is our pound cake. Simple as that. So here you all have it. This is our glazed bunt cake. And again, we just glazed it with a simple, simple sour cream glaze. And you all, it smells so good. I have my knife, my fork, and my saucer. And I'm about to cut a small piece of this, you all. And oh my goodness, do you see how easy that knife just goes into our cake? It is so soft. Oh my goodness. You all, I'm going to show you this. Can you see the texture of our pound cake? It is just so soft. And it smells so good. So, I'm about to go ahead and taste a piece of this. And I love the glaze. You all, it is such a fluffy, yet well put together pound cake. You gotta try it. You got to. If you don't try this, you are going to regret it. You are. This is the easiest pound cake. And it tastes so good. I know I didn't say it earlier. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our channel. If you want to keep seeing quick, easy, homemade recipes. Cooking is a science, you all. It is, and it's as easy or as hard as you make it. Keep it simple, be yourself, and I promise you, life will be so much easier. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Homemade. And also, if you make this pound cake, don't forget to come back and share your pictures. Even if it doesn't turn out right the first time, remember, don't give up. Just keep going at it. But I want to see some of your pictures. Let me know how you like the recipe. Again, easy, easy. Thank you, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Homemade.